Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a craft haul with you guys. This is a Dollar Tree craft haul. It literally has all different types of crafting supplies. These are going to be used in my home for junk journaling, but they could be used for numerous things. And I also have some other things that you can use with your kids and things like that. So if you are not a junk journaler, make sure you stay tuned, stay on this channel because you may see some things that you actually like and that you can use for other things. Um, because junk journals are made from like a huge variety of things. So it's not really like cut and dry, if that makes sense. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and yeah, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so if you've been on my channel, you know that I want to start doing signatures in my own junk journals. So I've been trying to collect books and papers and things like that to add into it and to use in the actual signatures. So I figured that I can use some of these manila envelopes. Now if they have the larger size that comes with six. This is by Jot and it has the clasp at the top. So I will be using this, it comes with six, like I said. And then this smaller one here is by, who is this by? It's not a job brand. Paper World, I think the name is. But it also comes with six. They are six by nines and they are also um, manila envelopes. These ones don't have the clasp here. It's just like a sticky. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna work around that, but so if you guys own your own business, if you like to keep things filed away, these are always nice to put into large envelope pouches, things like that. And I didn't mention, but the larger ones are six by nines. So I went ahead and picked those up for signatures. Another thing that I went ahead and grabbed was this contact paper. Now this is clear contact paper. It is by Kitrich. I think it's Kitrich is the name. It is 18 inches by one and a half yards and it is just good old clear contact paper that has like the measurements here that you can kind of use as a guide. I got this for junk journaling. You can definitely use this for anything, but these are really nice to use like to cover um, maybe a tag or something in your journal, um, even maybe your book cover. It depends, whatever you wanna use it for you guys. So I went ahead and picked this up. I thought that would be fun to use. Something that I thought was really cute that I hadn't seen there is a make your own photo garland kit. I thought that this was really cute. These are the things that comes in the pack here on the back. It says that it includes six photo frames, six mini clothes pins, and one string. I asked my daughter if she wanted to use this and she said no, so I'm just gonna use it in my junk journal. Comes with the two teal, two pink, and two yellow frames. Now these you would just have to tape pictures directly on top the on top of the paper. It is like a glossy contact type paper or um, cardstock. And then they have these cute little stickers that they could decorate the frames with. They even have this little guide for you to look at just for inspiration. And it comes with these really cute tiny clothespins and a little piece of string. Just in case you do wanna use it for your kiddos or they wanna use it over the summer to hang up um, some of their photos from the summertime. That would be kind of fun. Can I just say this haul is going to be huge. It is a larger haul. Um, so I hope you guys are ready for it. The next thing I want to share with you guys is this Crafter's Square Burlap Crafting Fabric. It is 8.2 feet long. It is pretty wide. I would say it's about three inches wide. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use this for my junk journal, you guys, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I'll probably say that a million times, so forgive me. And, um, but you could use this for floral arrangements. You could, you could use these on wreaths. You could use these for any type of crafting you guys want to, like be creative. Um, there are so many different things to use that for. So something that I've been picking up quite often are these little organizers. I went ahead and picked up two. Do you guys see the new jot tags on here? They're starting to replace the older ones now. Um, but these I use for my washi tape. My daughter puts her little mini brands in here. Your kiddos could put any type of smaller figurines in here. You could put beads, you could put jewelry. 
you could put charms you could put earrings i mean literally you could use this for all types of things hardware you know in the garage anything like that i don't know if batteries would work in here because those are too small i think it'd be a waste um but yeah so i went ahead and picked up two of these i love these for my washi tape and since i'm growing my washi collection i needed more so i grabbed those i went ahead and picked up this pack of spongebob um what is it like an activity set it has stickers markers and a mini coloring book and i actually picked these up because i want to do some kid journals and i wanted to do it like on memories and stuff for the kids and my son loves spongebob so i thought this would be really fun to put in it but um i'm not quite sure how i'm going to decorate the page but i may leave the pages blank in the little coloring book and leave it as a coloring book or maybe i'll take some pages out i'm not quite sure and leave the stickers in there for him to decorate the pages i don't know how that's going to work but i grabbed that because i saw potential in it and then i also picked up the coco melon he used to love watching this on youtube he loved coco melon and so this is basically the same thing it comes with the little coloring book the stickers and the markers they do have different colors in both packs in the markers so that's kind of cool so you could kind of mix and match well the only different one is red and pink so i don't know if that's great but I went ahead and grabbed that one as well. I went down the organizing section because I can never go to Dollar Tree without checking out to see if they have anything new. And they had more of these. So I went ahead and picked up two. This is what I'm organizing my crafting stuff in my dresser. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed two because I needed more. My stash is getting a little heavy. So I grabbed that one. And I also saw this, you guys. It is the three compartment plastic organizer. But this is different. I hauled a few, I want to say a couple months ago, but it was the old plastic. This is more like a thicker, um, softer plastic. I don't know how to explain it. It's not softer, but it's it's a better quality, I would say. And it kind of has like a gray hint to it or tint, hue, whatever you guys want to, what word sounds better? I don't know. The size of this is eight by three by two. So I love this. It looks so high. It looks like a higher end plastic. It doesn't look like the plastic you typically get from the Dollar Tree. They're really upping their game with these. They do have it taped down, so I'm not sure if it um, if it can. Oh, you know what? I this side is not connected with tape, and I feel like it's staying closed. The other plastic literally just falls right off. I had to put a rubber band around it. So that already seems nicer quality. So if you guys get those in your Dollar Trees, grab them. You could put hair ties in there. You could put bobby pins and hair ties like the little rubber bands. I use them for like stickers. You could use them for jewelry in your drawer. You can literally use that again for anything. I keep saying that, but really you can. Um, okay. So I've already hauled two of these baskets, but I saw this one and look how pretty that is. I love the different colors in the weave. It just looks so pretty. So I went ahead and grabbed this. I'm already using two of them for my junk journaling, like to keep things separated. And I really love them. I wish they were bigger, but I'll be happy with this. Maybe they'll get a little bit bigger with time. But um, so I grabbed that. Okay, so I went down the kids section because I always check out the kids. I check out every section. I'm not even going to lie, you guys. I go down every single aisle, every little like um, case. I don't know what they're called. You know the ones that stand usually like at the front of the store? Well, that's where mine are. I don't know what they're called. Like they're display cases. Sometimes, you guys, my mind, I don't even know. Um, but the display cases that hold like all the breakables and knickknack type things, I literally look at everything. Everything. Are you guys like me? My kids, when they go with me, they're like, are we almost done? Are we almost done? I feel bad for them. So I usually don't take them if I can help it. Super excited when I went down the kids' book aisle because I found some really great children's books. The first one I'm going to share is Disney, The Fox and the Hound. This one, or all of these are actually by Binden, but they're hardcover. They are pretty thin. I wouldn't say they're too long. And um, 
good like nighttime stories to read to your kids too. If you have kids or grandkids, you can keep like a little mini library at the house so that they have things to do when they come over or at your home if you have kids, you could just keep them on a little book books uh bookshelf and they can read them before bedtime i also saw that they had the lion king i had to get the lion king i mean everybody loves lion king at least i think everybody does so good so i went ahead and picked this one up i think that these are actually based on the actual movies i didn't look through them to check but i think that they are the other one that i got is disney's winnie the pooh the pooh sticks game this looks so vintage. I used to love Winnie the Pooh, but I liked the, it wasn't the cartoon. It was like they were huge puppets. Do you guys remember that on the Disney Channel in the 80s? I had to have been in kindergarten and younger, but I totally remember those or that, that show. Um, the next one I wanted to share is the Aristocats. I really love the Aristocats. It was an older one, but they're just so cute. The music in it, it just brings me back to being a kid. Again, this is based on the movie as well. Oh, I grabbed another Lion King on accident. And then the last one I wanted to share with you is Frozen Sisters. Now this one I do not think is based on the actual movie because I did flip a little bit through this and it didn't really look like it but I went ahead and grabbed this. I thought that this would be a really fun one as well. So those are the little Disney collection. Let me know if you guys have seen any other ones in your stores, because this is all that was in mine. So I found some really cute stencil letters. These are by Jot, it comes with 36 stencil letters and numbers. And they're in purple. I think that there's different colors. I think that they had black and I think they had white and they may have had blue or green. Um, but I went ahead and picked that up. I thought that that would be kind of cool to have on hand. Now I have hauled one of these before. This is just a photo album, a plastic photo album. This pink uh, paper can come out and you could put a picture there in the front. I didn't get these for pictures. I actually put my stamps in here and they're working perfectly. When I walked down the, I think office supply aisle, I found these really cool journaling um, page markers by Jot. They come with 200 pieces and they're just these little tags that you can put on in different places in your journal. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna use this in my journaling or if I'm going to use it in my homeschool room, but I just have it here with crafting because I think that you could use it for a lot of different things. So crafting may be one of them. All right, down the hair aisle, I love using little clips in my junk journal. I used it for my junk journal that I did on Advent and I just loved the way it looked. So I went ahead and picked this one up. I thought that the color choices were really pretty. We have the gold, the silver, and the rose gold. So it comes with six of them. And they're calling it a bobby pin. I think this is the Greenbrier brand. Um, but it does actually work like a bobby pin. So you just lift it and slide it. It's not a clip, it's an actual bobby pin. So I thought that that was kind of cool. I could use it like a paper clip in a way. Another thing that I went ahead and grabbed are these really cute DIY fashion gems. They do come with super glue, but I got the two different packs. You could put them on pretty much anything, sunglasses, um, electronics, your shoes, mirrors, anything plastic, it will stick to, and fabric, I believe, with the, the super glue. It has the super glue here on the back, but I just thought both of these were really cute. I will not be using them on stuff like that. Again, I'll use them in my junk journal. Another thing that I always grab, maybe not always, but quite often, I grab these Crafter Square paper packs. If you guys are looking for textured papers and you don't wanna spend a bundle on them, these are such a great um, buy. They come with so many different sheets. They are all different sizes, all different colors, different textures. And I just love that they have these. So this is by the Crafter Square. So the next thing might seem random to you, but I went ahead and grabbed one of their towels. This was down the bathroom aisle. I like the way this feels better than the softer ones. Um, 
I feel like it dries better and picks up stuff better. So I picked this one up so that when I'm working with inks or I'm working with glue, I can always like just wipe my hands on it or if I need to wipe something, I have a rag specifically for crafting. And I just picked up the brown one so that, I don't know if it got dirty, it didn't look crazy. It'll still look crazy, but I picked up the brown one, which isn't pretty, but it's for crafting. So I grabbed that. Another thing that I picked up, I always love to grab lace because I love the way lace looks. So this is just their Crafter Square Lace Crochet Lace. It is 0.78 inches. So yeah, so I went ahead and grabbed this one here and I use it all the time. So I really like that. Another thing that I saw that I thought I can use with crafting is this personalized flag banner. I love that they have like these triangular pastel colors and that's why I really got it. I do believe that they do have letters in there that say happy birthday so I can always use that as well um, but there are 13 triangles so that's going to be really cool to use and this was just down their party section. This is a Dollar Tree brand but I did find this. I liked it because it wasn't the primary colors it was like pastel colors so I was kind of excited to find that. So moving on, this I have never seen at the Dollar Tree and I have been on the lookout for like ledger paper or like old school ledgers from um, thrift stores and old school postcards and photos of like landscapes. I would love to come across stuff like that. I'm having the hardest time. So if you guys know of anywhere to get legit like vintage um photos or postcards like i said let me know ledger papers things like that i i love stuff like that so i found this notes organizer i have never seen this one there so again i was really excited this is actually a green briar i don't know why i haven't seen it maybe they just haven't had it in my stores but it comes with 80 sheets and they're six by eight and a half so I thought that this was kind of cool. I wonder if I could tea dye them if the ink will like run because I know when you do graph paper it runs so in lined paper. So I wonder if this would be any different. Maybe I could figure out a way to do that without ruining the paper. All right so something else I picked up. I love these little notepads and I really needed purple. I have what colors do I have? I have blue, green, pink, like a peachy color. Yeah, those are the colors I think. So I needed purple. So I found the purple, super exciting. I also found these Crafter Square detailing scissors. I got one for when I use like paper that has glue on it or tape on it or something sticky so that I don't ruin my uh, scissors. So I got one for that and then I got one just for extra detailing. I already have a really pretty pair of scissors from the Dollar, or not the Dollar Tree, Timu, that look like a peacock and it's like all metallic. It's so pretty. Um, but I saw these and I can never have too many of these and so I went ahead and picked up two of them along those same lines. Oh wait, that is down the Crafter Square section. So that is with the crafting items. But going down back to the office supply aisle, I found these Jot scissors. They seemed larger than the ones that are usually there. So I grabbed them because they really looked different. They looked like a better quality than the ones that they normally have there. And I do get the scissors from there, the, the normal. I think that they're a little bit smaller and the handles are a little bit smaller and they work fine. But I saw these and I'm like, ooh, I should get these. So I grabbed them. I think I have plenty of scissors, but I, I just keep buying more, you guys. I, I don't know why. I think it's a problem. I think it's a problem. Okay, so the next thing that I found is this little Frozen kit. It says that it is the classic picture toy that sticks like magic. So you basically open this up. I'm gonna show you how it opens up. It says fold and go. So basically it has this little handle and it just opens this way. I'm sorry for the glare from the ring light. Uh oh, is that upside down for you guys? It is but it opens up like this, and then you can carry it around. 
So the little stickers inside are more like a cling that you use on your window, but it'll work in this. So when they do take them off the little sheets and they start using them, um, they'll stick to it, but you'll be able to remove them. So they could carry this around without it all falling out. It's not like paper or anything like that. So I thought that that was really cute. I also went ahead and picked up the LOL. Now I am going to say something about a LOL. And if you like LOLs, that is okay. We all, you know, like our own things and we all have things that we are not okay with. And my kids, my nieces, they all really loved LOLs a few years back. Like that was the thing, buying the little surprise things. I mean, they collected them like crazy until things started to change and things I started to notice. So I stopped getting them. Um, but, but... Um, with me doing junk journals about like their memories and things that they used to love I saw these and they really loved these like they could not wait to get them They would be really excited. They would work extra hard with schoolwork to get them um, This is what they asked for for presents. So I saw these and I'm like these have to go into those They have to I went ahead and grabbed this one. It's the same type of concept this opens up and then you have your little themed pages here, which I thought were really cute. And then it has the stickers as well. This one says that it comes with 74 color forms and then the fold out play board. So I thought that this was really fun um, to add to the little junk journal. Going down the book section, I also found this Disney Junior Mickey Campy Camper Day. So I thought that this one would be really cute. Again, this is a Benden book as well. Just a really cute short paper book. Um, I thought that this would also be fun. But again, you can definitely use these for other things. You could use them for their actual purpose and read them. Read them to your kids. Um, I also saw that they had a Toy Story one that I hadn't picked up yet. I do have the Frozen, the Mickey Mouse, the Princesses. There, I think that there's a couple more. I don't remember. But I went ahead and grabbed this Toy Story one as well. This is by Peach Tree Playthings. All right, so down the coloring, coloring book aisle, same aisle as the books, I found this really cute strawberry shortcake book. And this is a coloring book. I wish I could find an actual reading book of this. But this is also by Benden. Benden is awesome. They have so many different things. I love that their brand. Um, but this is the Strawberry Shortcake. I do really wish that she had more of her friends in here. Um, I think that she does have some of them. And she does have them on the back. But I thought this would be really fun. My oldest niece loved Strawberry Shortcake because I loved it. So... She was the first niece on my side of the family to be born. So I bought her the Strawberry Shortcake DVD and I bought her the Care Bears DVD and she would watch them and she loves them because of that. So I wanted to put that in hers. Um, and I may also put this in my 80s journal that I do so for myself. So that'll be fun. Um, something else I went ahead and grabbed is this Crafter Square ABC Alphabet and Number stickers. This actually comes with numbers and alphabet stickers and there's 146 pieces. I really liked that they were the black, white, and gray. I think that those are really pretty. So I grabbed that. I also picked up this adult coloring book. This is for etchings. Uh, color your stress away. This is more of an adult book, but I liked it because it had all different styles of pictures in here and they looked sketched. So I think that they're really pretty. So I wanted to grab these. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut out the smaller things in here or cut out around the larger or leave them full sizes for pages. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to be using that, but I thought it was nice. So I grabbed it. Um, down the hardware aisle for like tools and stuff, I went ahead and picked up this Tool Bench Hardware Duct Tape Heavy Duty Two Times Stronger. I went ahead and picked it up in just the black color, just a standard color. I thought this would be good. I could use these on spines and things like that in my junk journal, so I went ahead and grabbed that. 
I also picked another one of their double-sided tapes up. I love this tape. It works pretty well. So far, I haven't had any issues with them. They are archival and acid-free. It's by Crafter Square, and it is 33 feet long, and it's about 0.3 inches wide, so pretty thin. So I picked up that. A few months back, I went ahead and picked up some of their Crafter Square felt kits and embroidery kits. Now this is like embroidery on felt. So I wanted to grab another one. It is a beginner level, but it is this really cute bee. I went to visit my mom and she did the beehive and she actually finished it for me. So I'm just waiting to see her and I'll get it from her because she made it for me for my junk journals. But I thought that it would be fun to have the bee as well. So I went ahead and grabbed this. It has all of the items um, in the kit except for the loop that you need. It comes with the embroidery fabric, pre-cut felt pieces, embroidery floss, embroidery needle, and easy to follow instructions. So to go along with that, you guys, I picked up two more of the little hoops. Did I call them loops a couple seconds ago? <laughs> I might have. I meant loops. So wait, are they hoops? What are these called? Oh my gosh, embroidery hoops. I'm just confusing myself. I don't know. Okay, so I picked up the cream and I picked up this really cute light like blush pink. I thought it was pretty, so I grabbed those. I went ahead and picked up these two packs of playing cards. Now these are actually played in Las Vegas at the casinos and because they can only use them once, I guess Dollar Tree buys them and resells them. So I kind of thought that was cool just because you're recycling them, right? Or upcycling them. One of them is from Bailey's, one of them is from Harrah's. I used to go to Las Vegas, I don't anymore. Um, yeah, so I thought that I could use these in my junk journal. I see so many channels doing really cool things with playing cards. Now I will mention, you'll see here that um, the corners are cut so that they know that they've used them and they do mark a corner with or black ink just to show that these decks were used. Um, in the casinos, so I don't know maybe I'll make them into a tag or something like that But I just I thought that they were really cute So I picked them up and I'm like I could repurpose these I could even use the front cover once you take the cards out There's like a little cutout. I could even use that for something in my junk journal Always think outside the box with junk journaling I went ahead and picked up more of their little paper doll sets because I just think that they're adorable. I loved paper dolls when I was little, um, but I picked up one more of the Barbie. I will definitely use this. It comes with the little paper doll cutouts and all kinds of clothes and accessories. I think it's really cute to even play with if you're a little kid and it's cool to craft with. You guys could craft with so many different things. I will be cutting out the Barbie on the front of it and her friends and um, yeah, I'll probably even use this plastic for something. Along the same line, I went ahead and picked up the LOL. Again, you guys, I don't agree with LOL dolls and what they do and promote and all that, but I did get them. Um, just for memory's sake, you know, before all of it came out that it was crazy. So it comes out with the two little girls here and those are going to be the paper dolls and then it comes with all of the little accessories and clothes and things like that. I thought that that would be so fun to put in junk journal. Right, guys, so we are down to the last few items here. If you have stayed into the end, make sure you guys leave me a comment down below. To let me know that you stayed here and finished it off with me. Give me some sort of crafting emoji. Do they even have crafting emojis? Maybe like scissors or paper or a book or tape or I don't know. Just put something down there so I know you stayed into the end. And I do want you to know that I really appreciate that you stayed into the end because I'm super long winded. I have been told here that I talk too much. So thank you to all of you who don't care that I talk a lot and um, still come to my channel to watch my videos. But all right, so moving right along to the last few items, I went ahead and picked up some crafting fabric. I thought this was absolutely adorable. I have actually been looking for this pink 
um, fabric in the roll for quite some time. I can't find it. It reminds me of Van's shoes. And then these bunnies are absolutely adorable. If you know anything about us, you know we love bunnies. I talk about it on my channel. And then just the plain purple is really pretty. I also went ahead and picked up this bunny material as well. This is, it has the bunny with all the really pretty floral. Again, I love floral, I love bunny, so how could I pass this roll of fabric up? These are perfect to use for any type of crafting. Um, I will be using them at some point in junk journals or I will be using these for the book covers for the kids. I also found this really pretty unicorn one with this lilac background. I thought it was just whimsical and pretty. I love that she has floral in her hair. She's just, it's so pretty. I love the pastel colors. I love light colors, I really do. And then the last one here I wanna share with you guys is this gaming one. I thought this would be perfect for my son. It's very boyish, he loves gaming, he loves Mario. If you guys watched, you saw me haul those game boxes from Timu and he even loves the old school ones, you guys. So I just thought it was really cute and I love the colors in here for him. But that is it, you guys. Thank you again for hanging out with me. I hope that you guys saw something here, even if you do not junk journal. I mean, there is a variety. I mean, all kinds of kids' toys and kids' things to do, fabrics and embroidery and organization and, I just, I hope that you guys found something that was of interest to you and this didn't completely waste your guys' time. So thanks again for hanging out, you guys. I do really appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps myself and my channel out. And leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the little notification bell to um, let you know whenever I have new uploads. But that's it. Thanks again, you guys. Be safe, be blessed, and I hope to see you in the next one.